Hey, welcome to Greenlight. So today we're talking about the making of Ambulance, which is one of my favorite directors, Michael Bay. Well, I love watching heist movies. Why do people like heist movies? I think they like them because we all fantasize about being criminals, potentially. All right, what would it be like if you were bad somehow? And could you get away with it? You always say, could I ever get away with a bank robbery? Oh, I can outrun these or I can, I can be sneaky enough to do this. But most of, most of the time you can't. You know, it's too, the world's too sophisticated nowadays. The police are too sophisticated. Um, there are a lot of sophisticated criminals, but a heist movie, because it's, it's immediate, it's tension, it's happening right now, and it can get screwed up very quickly and go in the wrong direction. One, one bad decision can just escalate, and that's what's interesting about it. Well, I, I think it's very effective for actors when you shoot fast enough and you keep them on edge enough uh, because you're you're consistently trying to keep the tension going and which means you don't want to spread it across the day so long and hours you want to try to keep it compact because it's hard for them to keep their adrenaline you let them go back to their trailers to wait to set up new shots you try to keep them on set and try to get through the scene so that they can keep that tension otherwise you could see that it's not the same when you go later and later in the day does it make sense they have to, it's like, it's literally like a boxer going in a ring. Um, you can't have a boxer boxing all day. You gotta kinda use them for windows when you can really get them to build them up. Well, I mean, they're, they're playing a lot of different levels, each, each one of them. I mean, uh, they're playing a lot of tension, but there's a lot of, like, uh, you know, fear of death, fear of getting caught, uh, caring about each other. Uh, there's different emotional stuff. They're playing all these different levels, which is kind of interesting. And just trying to keep the reality. What would it be like if you're on a, on a, on a stuck with a hostage and, and people want to get away and people want to live? It's a good combination um, of people. And uh, I've never worked with Yaya. I've never worked with the three of them um, before. And uh, they all had something very unique to it. And uh, I think it was a great... Uh, uh, triple, you know, to have three actors, to, those three actors together. Well, I mean, I've always been a, a big camera person and, and shot inventor. Um, and um, so we did a lot of new drone techniques that haven't really been done in these movies before. And, uh, um, uh, you know, it's just, uh, I like imagining visually how I can tell a story differently. It does have its own identity. It's a, it's it's a it is a mass of people and it's a crowd of people and the freeways and the and the, and the traffic and and the gigantic buildings, um, and the beautiful sunsets. Uh, it does have a look about it, but and I grew up there as a kid, so I know it very very well. Um, and there hasn't been like a real big L.A. movie in a very long time shot there. Like L.A. playing as a character. So the reality, and I, I, I always try to uh, put, you know, real C U.S. SEALs in movies or real CIA people or real uh, whatever real NASA people in my movies, um, the different movies I've done. Um, this one has like 50 LAPD uh, police officers, so all the SWAT is real. Um, the SIS special unit, those are all real. Undercover people are real. Um, um, uh, LA, some of them have real LAPD helicopters. Um, there's a lot of real police tactics in this uh, that they gave us when you would when you have a chase like this in this scenario. Uh, it this makes it makes it authentic, and you can't teach this. You can't dress an actor to look this way. They just are that way, you know. And and, and so I, I put a few actors within this this massive group of, of cops. So uh, and it you know it's same with the EMT. We had a real paramedic on the set who's seen everything. Uh, when there's a scene that's kind of uh, hairy when she's doing something to uh, a, a, an injured person on her uh, uh, on the stretcher. I won't say it for, for the audience, but uh, 
And that's completely real. We had real trauma surgeons like telling us this is exactly how you do it. We're FaceTiming as we're shooting it. Um, so we just try to keep the reality there. Hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look at Ambulance. And if you learned anything from this film, go ahead and comment down below. And don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you here next time. And also, I have a behind the scenes for Sonic Part 2 as well. So you can go ahead and check that out here on this channel, on this video right here that pops up. Later.